Hello and welcome back to more BGM and Dead Space, everybody. It's a camera. It's a camera. It was a safe spot. Yeah, yes it was. Black. Adorable. Oh! Well, there goes your leg. I'm sorry, but you're gonna just leave it now permanently. Oh, thank goodness. Ah, the well, that's convenient. Even though it's throwing you around like a freaking uh, like a space marine throws around a freaking tyranid. <laughs> <laughs> I am yeah, you, covered yeah, in you've blood seen now. That animation. <laughs> Look at me. Yeah, I am covered in blood right now. Well, yeah, you just like almost lost your leg. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's the scene that almost got the first Dead Space not made. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. That was a good scene, though. Because so many things had to be accounted for. Like, you had to account for, like, where Isaac was. Because yep. he could have been, like, any portion in the side of the hallway. You had to account for... Because of New Game Plus, you had to account for all the suits. You had to account for all the weapons. Oh, fuck. <laughs> and the technology for that didn't exist yet. They had to create the technology for that scene from scratch. Well, uh, fuck. I love, I love hearing about the development side of things, and they're like, we had to invent shit. <laughs> yeah, they, they literally you know, you did. Know, you know what's good? You know, you know something's good when people have to invent shit to get it done. <laughs> no, they literally had to invent the technology for it, and it almost made the game not get made because they. For the longest time, they couldn't figure it out. It was really interesting. And boy, did it pay off because the first time you come across that drag tentacle, it's just like, it's just like, oh my God, I'm gonna die. You just start panic well, firing. I'm... Dude, I, I would, I would. It'll give you access to the engine chamber. Yay, we can now get to the fuel storage. So we can manually start the engines. <laughs> Yay! We won't crash into the planet. Hey, buddy. Oh. Hey, buddy. Well, his uh, boots didn't activate. <laughs> Hammond, I cracked the secure files. I wonder if you die in a vacuum, you'll just stay standing up. <laughs> if you're like clamp, like magnetically clamped to a thing. <laughs> you just kind of like, <laughs> you just kind of like wiggle along like a wacky wave with like Flatable Arm Flailing Dead Men. Yes, exactly. <laughs> but you can't go anywhere because your, your boots are keeping you freaking, freaking magnetized to the ground. So you're, you're just waving it around. <laughs> Okay, back up. Where's this marker now? It's in cargo. Oh, we're, we're missing the story. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Um. But look, the funnies. The funnies were important, okay? <laughs> funnies are always important. Always important. We're doing kind of why we're here. doing a show. <laughs> Doing a show here, yep. Mm-hmm. Well, hi buddy. How about no? <laughs> and now he's <laughs> now he's floating. <laughs> Should have had mag boots. <laughs> that is pretty neat technology though, that friggin' like he just has he's basically he has a little bit of an Iron Man suit almost. Yeah, it's, it's really cool, especially it really compared cool. to the I'd... first game. Oh, yeah. The, the first game didn't have, like, the uh, flying mechanics. That was introduced in Dead Space 2. And the first oh. one, you would... It was really loud in there. Yeah, go ahead. Close that door. <laughs> in the Just first... close this door casually. <laughs> in the first one, you nope. would, like, aim with your gun, and then you would hit a button, and you would, like, Superman fly to the... 
destination and land, and you'd have to keep doing that to get around. Oh, that's dumb. So the flying is like way cooler. Actually, I'm gonna go back in here. There's a stasis thing. Way I'm gonna better. refill my stasis before I go in there. Yeah. Oh, there's a thing down here too. Yeah, yeah, give me. Thank you. Pulse rift. Gosh, that tele that telekinesis is fantastic. Uh, I gotta respond to something. That's stasis. I think that's bugs. That stasis should have worn off already. Stasis is. Uh, yeah, stasis. I thought I saw you a did. stasis recharge in here. Oh, yeah, does your suit tell you how much stasis you can do? or? Uh, yeah. Because you have, you know, your HUD elements are on your suit, which is, again, a really cool thing. Yeah, which the red circle right there. Oh, yeah, the, the red circle. Yeah, that's, yeah, that, that's my stasis. Yeah. yeah, okay. I was like, I wonder what that one was supposed to tell me. No, no, I do. Shit, now, I can't. Now it makes more sense. Exiting zero gravity. I, I, I keep uh, using uh, uh, health, but I don't mean to. Dope. Flintthrowers are always dope. Always. Doesn't matter the game. Even they though they fucked it up in uh, Helldivers 2. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they fixed it since. They've gone back and fixed it now, but friggin' they did fuck it up. <laughs> at one point. It kind, Ironically, it kind of for the right flamethrower update. The update that added a bunch of flamethrowers, basically. <laughs> Ironically, they fucked up flames for that the update where they were supposed to add more cool flamethrowers. Go figure. <laughs> oh. And I'm nope. pretty sure they almost fucked up gas, except for I think I think they always intended that gas be like a more a uh, freaking uh, crowd control of a thing than a yeah. Thing. Oh. Hello. Hi, buddy. You might need to do a little bit there. Uh, what explode? Uh, I exploded the polyp that cleared the path so I don't have to crawl through again. Yay! Polyp. <laughs> That's not cancerous. <laughs> uh. I'd, I'd say it's pretty cancerous. <laughs> Nah, nah, not at all. It's completely good and healthy to have. <laughs> yeah, don't you know uh, your home should always have, you know, a, a fleshy biogrowth all over the walls and floors? <laughs> Reminds me of freaking Tyranid. Inside, like, Tyranid places. Because <laughs> they just pile up the, uh, the biomass. Taco's been playing uh, Space Marines, too. Can y'all tell? <laughs> Look, I, I know 40k I pretty well, okay? <laughs> Tyranids are terrifying, oh, no. <laughs> by the way. Uh, crazy person? Chaos. I don't know. <laughs> sounds, sounds like something Tiger would do. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> No, I don't think Tiger would actually fully sabotage an entire ship out of chaos. I think I think Tiger would play at least at the most playful pranks. Personally, that's what I personally think Tiger would do. But I don't know. Yeah, you know, just you know, harmless pranks, you know, uh, like turning off the entire engines. <laughs> yeah. Uh... <laughs> You know, Making uh, it a hassle to turn them back on. <laughs> putting razor blades in your food, and hot sauce in your eye drops. It's just harmless oh, praise. Oh, 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 no. Mm, mm. <laughs> Please know on that. Mm. If you've ever, if you've ever had the displeasure of, eye, of hot sauce in your eyes, yeah, just now. 
It's not a pleasant feeling. No, no, it's not. And I mean, like, truly hot shit. <laughs> like, there's a reason when you're eating hot, like, really hot and spicy foods, they tell you do not rub your eyes afterwards. Oh, yeah. <laughs> do not rub them. I've done that before. You don't want to do it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not going to feel good. It doesn't. It doesn't feel good at all. I've, I've gotten a little uh, spice, spiciness in my eyes before. It's yeah, it's not fun. Luckily, I caught myself before it was got too bad. Oh, I've gotten I I haven't gotten fully in my eye, but I've gotten like the edge of my eye, and I, I realized what I was doing. I stopped, but it still burned. Yeah, <laughs> it hurt. <laughs> You, you, qui you quickly uh, clean off your hands and start rubbing your eye, get, trying to get it to tear up to flush it out. But you should go get water and flush it out. But yeah, yeah, you don't want to do tears because it, it hurt. It hurts it. because so you panic because and you tears. just do it the the bad way. Yep. <laughs> Pretty much. You also just forget. Crap. Sometimes. <laughs> You know, he's pretty ass. He's a fat boy. He's pregnant. He's pregnant. Oh, no. Uh, shoot it quick. Make sure the babies are dead. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to shoot those things out. in the gut. Don't, don't. Yeah, I was like, they don't look like you'd want to shoot them in the gut. Yeah, Even you though don't. I've played too much Left 4 Dead and you, that's what you do to the freaking boomer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, imagine, imagine that, but instead of uh, blowing up, uh, the stomach bursts and a bunch of little ones come swarming out of it. I'm good. I've seen that way too many times in many horror tropes. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact that their canonical it's name is awful. Pregnant. I'd rather not think of that. Think about that, please. I'd rather not think about it. You know, this, these flesh growths are also reminding me of freaking uh, Doom, like Doom Eternal. When you go oh, yeah. through hell. In the hell, hell worlds. There's like a lot of like really cool like, body horror in Dead Space. Oh, absolutely. It's this, this is a great spooky mummy game. Oh, yeah. 100%. Biomass. Oh, freaking, uh, oh. Talk about that later. Anyway, save this pack. You found more stasis packs. You're now full on stasis. Woo. Gee, reach our track literally right there. But I think it's because this is here. So in case you screw up, <laughs> well, you know, players have screwed this up. One hundred percent. You also might have to do it multiple times. Was that another pregnant one, or I think I'm, no? That, that was one. that was just a slasher. Oh, okay, it was like it looked kind of normal. Could you shut up, door? I'm talking here. <laughs> burn, David, burn. Okay. I was a fan of the burning. Did you stop spitting, sir? I don't like being spit at. Thank you. That hawk tua, you know? Freaking <laughs> 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 spitters. Gosh. I think those are called spitters. I would, I would imagine so, because, you know, they spit at you. Well, there, there's another you know, one. You know, this generation would call them Hawk Tuas, though. <laughs> <laughs> there's another one in the later ones. I don't remember if it's called a spitter or not. That does something similar. It just bombs on you. Ooh. Vomiting, isn't it fun? Always so much fun. We gotta kill them all. It's like it's like Pokemon, but you know, instead of catching them all, we gotta kill them all. <laughs> don't ask me, okay? I, I don't know. 
Gotta kill them all. Oh, Necromorphs. Oh, pregnant. Luckily, shooting them in the gut doesn't cause them to burst open if it's the kill shot. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, that, if, that's if it's cool what kills them, they don't burst, thankfully. Damn it! Credits. Money. What? Well, I have no health packs because I keep accidentally using them. Dragonal. Dragonal. No, I do feel that. I've done that in so many different games where I'd be like, I'd be like, I need to use a grenade. Hits the heal button. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's, it's... No, damn it. <laughs> Or you go to like, or you go to pick up a different item, and then you're like, wait, why didn't I pick up? Oh, I hit the health button. Fuck. Because <laughs> too many people don't. We don't. We don't have E and F standardized for some reason. Uh, yeah, it, it would definitely help if it was more standardized. Like guys, E should be your interact button for picking up shit and just everything in general, Ooh, nope. and then freaking like. Yeah. Can we just avoid the F key? Frickin' COD? <clears throat> I blame COD for a lot of it, actually. <laughs> COD, can you please go back to using E as the frickin' interact key, please? I hate F. I hate using F. Please stop F is for it. respect. <laughs> that is the only... the only acceptable Ooh. use of F. <laughs> it is the only acceptable use. Black. I, schematics. Death again. Plan for our schematics. Yay. Yeah, I take that to a store and I can buy fuel. <laughs> Which, again, the, the flamethrower kind of sucks right now. It's not that great. But once you get all the damage yeah. upgrades, like, it's really good. I was going to say, it, it, it has its uses. It keeps the smaller guys, the super small yeah, guys. It, it's good for the small ones, for sure. But, well, that's uh, its uses. Hey, look, a battery. It's not that great until you get fully up. This must be needed. We must put need to put this somewhere. <laughs> I'm actually kind of glad this isn't like super realistic because let's face it, realistic wise, you'd probably have to find a battery from like all the way across the ship <laughs> and then bring it all the way over here. <laughs> In reality, there probably wouldn't be a battery next, like right next to the thing, or like relatively close by. Possible, sure, but like freaking real, like most most off, most likely more often than not, <laughs> you probably have to go to like a specific storage room to get a battery. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm also impressed with how much, uh, like, ammo stuff you can find across this ship, dude. Oh I'm god. finding them. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Dragonon, don't let it hit touch you. Oh yes. The saw blade. The saw blade. The saw blade is amazing. Gosh, could you imagine if we had like a like saw blades like that today, where we could just oh, that'd be have so a sick. float and spin? <laughs> It'd be so dope. The amount of people who would fuck that up and get their limbs chopped off would be way larger <laughs> than than what it currently is. But you know, <laughs> it would be sick. <laughs> That's the most unrealistic thing about this game. There's not like a million warning labels plastered all over this thing because idiots can't not do stupid shit. Because <laughs> you know, idiots have to ruin the nice thing for everyone. <laughs> Always. Yeah, that, that's why that, there's that, a uh, bunch of like stupid warnings on things. That tool would probably never be mass produced because of how much stupid people will not be able to use it without chopping themselves up. <laughs> For real. 
you could almost have to consider <laughs> that thing like to be like a prototype tool or something that you just happen to have. It's a cool tool. Don't get me wrong. Of the oh, I'm almost out of ammo for that. Oh no. Huh? For the plasma cutter. Plasma cutter? Oh no. You need more ammo for plasma. The plasma cutter is. Oh yeah, they're going to I mean, uh, plasma rifle. Uh oh, got getting robotic. No! Isaac, you did it. I did it! No thanks to ever sabotage did you do it? I did the thing. You bought us time to figure it out. Autopilot's taking us in the geostationary orbit. Wait, you're flying us through the planet crack debris? That's what the asteroid defense system is for. But the ADS is offline. I've got the system readouts here. Hammond, the Ishimura is in rough shape. A couple of bad strikes could finish her off. Shit. Daniels, give me all the data you have. I'll try to adjust course. Isaac, take the train from engineering. Meet me on the bridge. I'll lift the station lockdown. We need to work on this together. Well, at least the guy took the input and was like, okay, yeah, you're right. We, we, we can't do the plan. <laughs> you got at least it, buddy. he listened. At least he listened. He <laughs> was like, yeah, you know what, you're right. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I don't like the situation either, buddy, but, you know, just the situation. <laughs> I you can't, try can't take, can't take a ship with its last legs through an asteroid belt with no defense you really system. You really can't. <laughs> you just, just, it's just not possible, buddy. It's not possible. At least he considered it and wasn't, wasn't like, wasn't like just like friggin' uh, hey, get the fucking thing online or some shit like that. At least, again, at least he wasn't like super dead. Oh. Dead set on the plan. Damn it. <gasps> Nicole! She's the, the lovely that we're trying to find, right? Yeah. Yeah. This guy's not a kid. He needs to die. <laughs> must die, because they're. because it's not cute, therefore must die. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah. I don't know why I refer went to that song, but okay, <laughs> okay, Brian. Whatever you say. <laughs> I have a doggo barking. Medium med pack, flamethrower fuel, ripper blades. Hey. Jelly, let let's get some uh, plasma cutter wrap. <laughs> get that money, honey. Get that money. Get money, honey. Money, 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 money. Hmm. Money. Sorry. Money, money. Uh, Taco, Taco's talking about r the real money song. It's called freaking uh, Money by Pink Floyd, so. <laughs> Get some Pink Floyd going, you know? Hell yeah. Money. This Grab that cash rail. Oh, and make a stack. <laughs> if I could remember this tune better. <laughs> been a little bit since I heard that song. Anyway. Even though I listen to friggin' Dark Side of the Moon every so often. <laughs> it's good. It's good. good soup. Dark Side of the Moon is... Dark Side of the Moon is a man. Anyway. Upgrade that damage, baby! Cause you know, flamethrower damage. It's important. <laughs> is going on. That HP. Get that HP or so help me. Oh, I see. Mm. Yeah, that's your... 
plasma cutter, ooh. Or are you going for go for the ripper? Plasma cutter! Damage. Damage! It's also better than the old Dead Space 2 as far as like the upgrade nodes go. Because in the old one, there was a lot of like dead nodes you had to go through to actually get to ones that did stuff. <laughs> Well, that fucking sucks. Um, yeah, whereas in this one, there's, uh, each node does something. It also sucks, because in the old Dead Space, you also needed power nodes to open certain doors. Granted, those no. doors often also had a node in them, so you kind of, like, replaced your node after using it, but still. Like, you always had to have a node on you in case you ran into one of those doors. Unless fucking you just remember stupid. where they were. Fucking stupid. Whereas in this one, you just need the security clearance. So there's a lot yeah, of backtracking that in this likely. game. <laughs> well, there's a I lot imagine. of backtracking in this game anyway. I, was like, I imagine there is quite a bit of it. Blah. Blah, blah, blah. How can we say blah? Uh, yeah, I heard you, that too. I was like, what? The yeah, music's getting kind yeah. of intense. Uh, Sometimes hey. something's gonna go wrong. Please don't be a cursed tram. <laughs> Chapter 4, Obliteration Imminent. Add it to your bingo oh, cards. Yeah. yeah, I was like, we're, we're on course to uh, die, <laughs> aren't we? <laughs> yeah, if we go through that asteroid belt without getting those defense systems online, we are. <laughs> Oh yeah, isn't like oh yeah, because you got the engines on. That's right. Yes. No. The engines are now on, <laughs> so we're not falling, plummeting to our death. We are now rising to our death. <laughs> we're now rising to our death <laughs> because we don't have a defense system to take out asteroids that will literally just destroy us. Destroy us, the us all! Destroy us all! Destroy us all! Destroy us all! <laughs> Do that. Anyway. You ever watch Billy and Mandy? No. You never watched Billy and Mandy? Oh my god. I was not allowed to watch a Isaac, lot of Cartoon Network for Nickelodeon. That's right, yeah. Oh, I am not losing the Ishimura. Not now. Like, I was barely able to watch Courage the Cowardly Dog. That artifact they found? Don't worry. I remember jack shit about it. <laughs> Isn't that why you're really Courage scared? was Corporate wouldn't send the issue Courage was an interesting show. I don't remember shit about it, even though there's so many moments where I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I love that show. It's like, what the fuck? Then meet me at the captain's nest. Daniels? But I'm going through the ship reports, Hammond. I'm getting some answers. Ooh, sexual tension, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Not the time for that, you two. <laughs> Not the time for that, you two. <laughs> Clearance level two to get in there. Ooh, item. And the scan. Look, dude, I'm sorry. The Taco Bell is not for sale. with my item. He was an angie boy. Yes, yes, he was. He was a big angie boy. Good thing he couldn't burst through the wall. He tried. He tried to Kool-Aid man his way out. Oh, God. I, I saw, don't worry. I saw. Kool Aid. You okay? At least containment and life support are holding. So far. Asteroids coming through already. Yep, that, that sounds about right. There are. Good tons thing we have those blast shields. There are. Bajillion small asteroids. 
I'm not going to lie, dude. They just exist. Yeah. Like they suck. You know what else exists? Next time on VGM. Next time on VGM, everybody. Yep. We'll see you again. Bye. Bye.